What's up, Twitch? What's up, YouTube? Uh, back at it again with another Mondays with Murdoch. Um, obviously, today we got Ethan and Alex as normal. Um, just a few things on the agenda. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Ethan might have an announcement, so I hope you guys enjoy that one. Um, I'm fighting a toothache, so I'm sorry. I apologize if I don't talk a lot. My tooth kind of hurts. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about overrated, underrated video games. Um, the hype that they all came out with. Shit like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, other than that, we're going to jump right into it and get this one started. So, uh, hope you all enjoy. Intro done. Wow. I told wow. him I got Fucking toothache. Go oh. Ahead, go the toothache. Yeah, so I said if I ain't talking that much, it's because I'm focused on my tooth and I lose concentration. So, <clears throat> I asked Ethan if he wanted to spurt out some news. Now's your chance if you want to. If not, we'll continue with what we're going to be talking oh. about. I, I'm uh, I'm coming out of the closet now. <laughs> I'm coming out of the closet. <laughs> <Man. Yeah. laughs> well, Ethan, it's uh, time, you know. <laughs> well, uh, we found out. Well, it's been a, it's been a few months now, but we found out that uh, me, the goy boy, and e girl gamer. <laughs> she's not looking at me. Uh, are expecting she's a not... baby, so we got a baby on the way. <laughs> I'm so our colossal family's growing even more. Alex, whoop, whoop. Alex and I is expecting. Ethan's expecting. I mean, it's just gonna grow. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that piece of news. That was colossal news. That was not world news because there wasn't too much to happen in the world today. Uh, this week besides the fucking World Cup. The World Cup. Um, congratulations, Messi. I do like him. So. Congratulations to that guy. But today we're going to be talking about overrated, underrated video games. We did this, I think, two years ago um, with music. So we're going to try it this time with video games. Um, Alex, she's probably not going to know too much. Yeah, I'm not going gonna... to. She hasn't been. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. She hasn't really been the gamer type like me and Ethan have been this year. But I'm sure she can bring out some input on some of these games. Some of maybe. them, yeah. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> she watches Vanoss Gaming a lot, okay? Let's just be real here. True, true. Oh, and might I add, um, I just realized, I didn't realize until I had this up, there's a there's a, a, a cat post right there. I, I think I, I accidentally put it in the right spot, because now you can, if the cat's up there, you can see him. Key cat! The fucking evil thing. He is evil. <laughs> All right, so the first game on the agenda. Let's just get it. Let's just get it done right out of the gates here. Right, <laughs> right out, out of the gate. Of We're going to go with Call of Duty. One reason I'm going to go with Call of Duty first is because Alex actually did play this game. So I'm going to ask Alex first. Of course. Overrated of course. or underrated? <laughs> uh, a little bit overrated, I think. Ethan? <laughs> I mean, okay, let's just be real. We all think this motherfucking game is overrated. Oh, if you were here bro. for our last it's podcast, so it, 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 it's just, it's all overrated. All right, bruh. Bruh, I, the most overrated garbage that came out this year was Call of Duty. <laughs> the Okay, and I also want to talk about the hype leading up to the video game. So, I... I honestly don't think it was over over hyped. I think no, it was I don't just, think it was either. I don't I think really it was think about Call of Duty the same. is anymore. Like they just show the gameplay trailer and then it's like, oh, this is what you get. Like yeah, I, 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 I was hyped for the game. I was. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. Like I, I, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. And the campaign was pretty fucking amazing. So they at least did something right with their game. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think the hype to the game wasn't um, overhyped or overrated. Um, the video game itself is a little, little. I would say a little overrated. There, there's yeah, there's, 
this game still has potential, so it, it tweaks a few things. I agree. It breaks a Maybe. few more. But... Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't like a video game that, that constantly updates, but something else breaks in it. Like, so simple. Yeah. Like, I, I've played Rainbow Six for years now, and every time I play it, it updates, but at least I can join my friends and enjoy the broken game. Right, yeah. So, I just wanted to get that one out of the way, because I knew if we were on that topic of discussion at the end of this podcast, we'd be here. Oh, we'd be talking, talking. for it. <laughs> um, I don't know if Alex has a true opinion on this, and I don't know if Ethan does too, but Dying Light 2. Oh, yeah, I don't really have. Well... I played it. I uh, Megan got it for me for uh, I think my birthday, but I don't know. Compared to the first one, I, I I mean I thought it was about the same. Honestly, I didn't play much of it. I played like a first two hours of it, but I haven't I, touched it since. I don't think the game's overrated. I think the game is right where it needs to be. I think it's a good. Yeah. It's a very good game. I enjoy playing the game. You know, if I'm not doing anything else, but I think the release was overhyped. Yeah, because, the game itself is is good, just not. I I believe it was overhyped because I got to the point where you know I thought I was gonna be able to play with, you know, Demarcus. People crossplay like they they said crossplay was coming, so like yeah. that shit was hype, yeah. dude. Like I yeah, was, I was like, you you get hyped for that shit now. It's like oh my god. And then and then they hyped. said then they said oh never mind. Oh, a week never before mind. a week before they were like yeah no we don't have crossplay and I'm like wait <laughs> now now it's overhyped about? now it's overhyped what you talking about yeah um but other than that i mean i don't know i think the game itself is really good i don't know it's definitely worth the play i mean if you don't have it it's definitely worth it's, the play it's stupid fun really i mean if you're bored it is yeah. a good game if you're bored and that's that's the kind of stuff me and David like is just the stuff that you can well like we just hop right in and you can just do whatever. Yeah, quickly. and it's free room. Like I, I like the yeah, fact that it's yeah. free room. Yeah. So I mean that obviously obviously a free room zombie game is the way to go. Um yeah. speaking Unless of Unless it's like Left for Dead. Well I mean Left for Dead, I, they did it right, so Speaking of free room zombies, uh this is getting a little off topic, but uh, what is it? Uh, Dead Island is coming out with another one. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little hyped for that. I yeah, I am a little hyped, and I mean, for one, we've been waiting how many years? My pre-order, I think I still have it pre-ordered at GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said that when I saw the trailer, I commented on it. I was like, oh my god, I can get my, I can get my twelve-year uh, pre-order paid off then. Yeah, is it, it is coming next year. Dead Island 2. Just looked it up just to be sure. It's by here. Techland, right? Like, Techland's still making it? Uh, Let me double check here. I think they are. I think that's who I saw it on, was on Facebook, why was on their Earth? page. I want to know why it put me in Yahoo search, bro. What the fuck? Who the fuck wants... Yahoo search. What the fuck? Oh, let me put in the year that I was born because they really care about that. Yeah. They care so much. It looks like it's still made by Techland. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it was. Like I said, I think I saw it on their Facebook page, but. Deep Silver. Okay, yeah. I remember they. Oh, it doesn't say at the bottom. It just says oh. Damn Buster and D D one two and Deep Silver. Hmm. Oh maybe maybe I'm getting that wrong. Maybe I saw it on Deep Silver. I I don't remember. I thought I Techland did it, but but maybe they did. Maybe they did one of them and I'm just thinking wrong, or I just have it completely wrong and it's actually uh, Deep Silver, who does them? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a little hyped for that. It's 428 is going to be released, and I hope the fuck it's good, because I'm probably going to pre-order that one. Yeah, I love Dead Island. 
Both of oh, them. I, I guess... Know, I know a lot of people hated Riptide, but I actually kind of liked it. So. Dude, I loved Riptide. I think that was probably my favorite one because there was Easter eggs, funny Easter eggs in that one. I, I don't yeah. know if you remember, you could... Uh, the Jason, Jason was in that. I think Jason or Freddy was in that. Or Michael Myers? I don't know. I don't remember. I know Jason was in there because you get the machete. See if I can pull that tweet back up. Yep, here we go. Ramsey. I guess we do got a little bit of news here. It ain't world news, but it is video game news. So I sent you guys that Fortnite and Epic oh, Games yeah. will have to pay. Yeah. Yeah. That is real. Like that's a real thing. And I. Yeah. I you know, Wild. after looking at it, let, let me let me explain this for Twitch just real quick. So Fortnite and Epic Games, I don't know the full story, so don't don't you know quote me on all this. Oh. Um, <laughs> but uh, was getting sued for making for making uh, their yeah. Guilty of tricking users into making purchases, collecting data from children without parents' consent. So that's what they were getting sued for. That's, uh, um, that's pretty sketchy shit. Yeah, which... I mean, makes sense, though. I, I don't know. I th That's in the news. Um, they're getting sued $520 million. In relief Ooh. funds after the FTC found them guilty of tricking users into making purchases, collecting data from children without parents' consent, and having default settings that harm both children and teens. This includes using dark patterns to manipulate users into making unintended purchases, allowing children to purchase things such as V-Bucks without parental or cardholder consent, or and having default on voice and text settings which allowed easier harassment of new users so the only bone i have to pick with that is the fact that it says that you can make purchases without card holders consent okay you go like my playstation 4 right now okay i have a password on only because my niece was getting in on her but I have a password on there because you can go purchase a game because I put my card on on PlayStation. Yeah. So, I mean, first of all, I just feel like being on Fortnite and that should be the parents' responsibility to take their card information uh, back yeah, off Fortnite. I know. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're trying to say. I um, I saw, actually, I was looking at settings on Epic Games, and it says that you can, you can either set a limit or you have to require a password each time. Now, that's only on PC. I don't know if you can do that on, like, like the console um, versions of yeah. the game. But, but on PC, you can set restrictions up, too, so. Okay. Well, that, see, a password would be all right. But like I said, like, I mean, yeah. technically, if Fallon wanted to get on my PlayStation right now and she went to go see a game that she liked and she just happened to purchase it, okay, that's on my ass. You know, that's me. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. you're the one who left that information on there. But also, also, I ain't going to hold PlayStation accountable. But like, half the time, you almost have to have a card on your account. Yeah. You have to have. Some form of, of payment on there. Because the last time I tried to take my card off there because I had a new card, I couldn't delete the old one. I had to add a you, new one then delete. You can now. You can do it now. Yeah, I, I've never did it that way. I just got uh, codes, like digital codes on Amazon. But that, okay, that's the thing though. Like when I when I first got a card, you know, my bank account I was like, oh, dude, this is gonna be purchased so easy. But then I switched banks, so I had a different card. Well, I couldn't just delete that card. I had to add another one and then delete that other card. It wouldn't allow me to, which was, I think was stupid in the first place. Yeah, that's but weird. That's Alex can, says it's it's fixed now, but you can yeah you can delete all your payment stuff now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So that's that's a really weird thing to have happen. That's, <laughs> but yeah, I just happen to remember that Fortnite just got sued five hundred and twenty million dollars. Yeah. That's a lot of money. 
a lot of money. That's a lot of money, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of money. I like I like uh, the one of the replies or the tweet. <laughs> where is uh-oh. the where where is the money going? Uh oh. Uh oh, we got kitty cam. <laughs> kitty cam. Pussy's on the screen. I'm not talking about even. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned for having pussy on screen. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so there's our government getting five hundred twenty million dollars. I'm just letting you know. All right, it's FTC yeah. who's getting. Yes, yeah, so I said the FTC is doing it. So I'm just letting you know, in case your kids don't got school books next year, go ahead and blame FTC. They got yeah. five hundred. They got five hundred twenty million dollars. That would solve a lot of problems. A lot. Just saying. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> back on track here. Elden Ring. Completely off track. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we ain't talking of no political shit today. Maybe maybe next week. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, Elden Ring though, for real. Alex, I know you didn't play I don't think any of us played the game. Uh I've never played I watched like I said, I watched Afro play it. So ain't none of us gonna have a real opinion. So let's just go ahead and think if it's overrated or underrated. Ethan go first. I, I gotta say, it's right where it should have been. Like, the hype was real for it, everyone was hyped for it, and the game actually delivered. Like, you don't get that too often with AAA titles anymore, but the... I can't remember the company's name, but the company who makes, like, the Dark Souls-type games, they they always seem to deliver on the uh, the scale of what everyone's looking for, so... Do they listen without to the DLC, without the DLC, might I add. Yes, that is that is a good point. Alex, what do you think? There's a reason it's game of the year. Facts. Fair I'm out the great. I'm out the great. <laughs> right Straight with Ethan. Ethan, Ethan pretty well yeah. hit yeah. the nail on the head. I mean, the game released have... without DLC, and it was a fucking magnificent I, game. I yeah. I remember the hype for it was, was there was a lot of hype for it, and I have yet to hear someone complain about it. So, it, it, everyone I see complain about it, they're like. It's just because it's not my kind of game, but I, right, I completely yeah. respect what what they're doing with it. So they and the they think other it's a complaint, great game regardless. So and the only other complaint you hear about it is the game's fucking hard. But you know what? Well, it needs to be it's fucking hard. It's a Dark Souls type it's game. It's a Dark so Souls, yeah. It needs to be fucking hard. And let we me tell you, hard from what I've heard, there. from what I've heard about Elden Ring, it's easier than the first Dark Souls game, or the second one for that matter. The second one I think is the hardest. But then again, then again, they say it's a hard game. You jump in there on fucking ranked play with Scump and all of them on Call of Duty. That's gonna be hard as fuck too. Let's just be You're real. Be like, this is right? a hard game. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the hype was perfect for it. Um, I don't think there was any overhype before the game even released. I think it was just it was perfect. I honestly think it was just perfect. Um, I'm not that type of player, but like I said, I, I watched I watched Afro play it. Um, it looked like he had fun playing it. So I play like. The only game I really play, which isn't by them, it's Neo, but that's that's like a it's the samurai version of that of Dark Souls, but it's not made by the same company. But I that game also delivered too with the hype. So speaking of, there is another game I want to talk about. Let me unfull screen this for a second. I still got okay. Let's go back to full screen. Um, before I forget about it, have you guys heard of the game Outriders? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got okay. me to play it. <laughs> I think that game was overhyped. Oh, so overhyped. The game was fun to play. I don't don't get me wrong, it was fun, but like you get to the certain point where it's just like it's boring. Like yeah, cuz you're literally right. just doing the same exact thing. Like I get a lot of games like I mean pretty much any game you play, it's going to be like that. It's going to be, like, gonna like, be repetitive, yeah. Over and over, but there's certain ways you can do- go about doing it to make it enjoyable. Like- like Destiny, Again. It, it's a repetitive game, but there is different ways of going about it. Destiny is yeah. still a fun game to me. Yeah, yeah. I just well, don't play it. I, I said something last week about the playability of Borderlands 2. I mean, that's another one that I can play over and over and over and over. It's the same. I know what the missions are. I know how to beat the game, but I still have fun playing it. Like That's like, I mean, I'm going to be buying The Last of Us for the fifth time. I mean. Right, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's I just love that, that game. Of a game. 
I played Detroit Become Human Guys. through like four times now because I love it so much. It's and, it, well, and, well, granted that game has it's a branching tree line, so there's like three thousand different scenarios that you can do. But... Right. And the only the only thing though between like Outriders, and I kind of compared it to Destiny because that kind of what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny, you need people. Like you yeah. actually need people. And, and going to I don't like, like that. Raids. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. That's. That's not who I am. I'd rather do it by myself. Yeah, like whenever yeah. one of the vaults, like the vault missions you could do yeah. in the first one. I, I love those ones to death, but I hated the fact that I had to have three other people with me to do it. Like I don't mind I don't mind like a fire team. You need a fire team, go yeah, in there, that's do fine. whatever, that's fine. you know, get some randoms. But the fact that you actually needed a party to go in for raids, I I think yeah. that's what kills games. It kills games. Yeah. And I think um there's a raid now on Call of Duty. I'll go back to Call of Duty for now. Yeah. You need a party of three to get in there. And I, I yep. just, I don't like shit like that. I, yeah. but, I don't, I don't mind Grant, I it. have friends that can go do it, okay? I got, I'm sure we all can get together, go yeah, fucking yeah. do it, whatever. But it's right. like, if Ethan don't like Destiny 2, now I'm well, down yeah. one, one guy. You know, like, I can't just go in there with five people thinking we're going to beat this motherfucker. No, that ain't going to happen, dude. Yeah. So yeah, that, the fact that, that, that you got to depend on you. other people just it's just kind of I don't know. Shit. Yeah, like now now Call of Duty, <laughs> you know, they have the duos, which that's fine. That like duos is fine. That's just one other person that you need, and that's easy to usually get. It's easier to get, yeah. But when you, you have to have a whole whole ass party, no, I don't, I don't like that shit. And that, Outriders is kind of the same way. You almost you get to a certain point where you you need extra players. Cause yeah. that, I mean, I got yeah. pretty deep in that game, me and Jake, and that motherfucker get hard, bro. <laughs> it get kind of hard. Yeah, I didn't get too far into it. Well, I got, I got a decent. I played it for a couple days straight, and then I kind of was like, all right, I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah, me, me and e uh, Ethan, me and Jake got pretty far on it. Next thing I know, we fucking we was on his mission for like almost an hour because we just could not beat this guy. And then we had a guy just randomly join our team and just wipe him out. I'm like, okay, well that made it easy. Yeah. Like, uh, this is gonna be a fun one. Halo. Uh, I don't have an opinion on Bye. that. But... All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> I I'll start oh. this one off. I'll start this one off. I think oh, it was overhyped. No, actually, no. I think the hype was real, leading up to the game. After the fact, it's overrated. It's an overrated title. And the only reason I say the hype was was where it needed to be at is this is the first Halo I ever thought about playing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Lila, we trying to do something here. You want to make noise? She's like, yeah. She, uh, dude, she must have snorted something, bro. Hey, whatever. What do you think, Ethan? What What do you think about the um, leading up to Halo? Okay, the leading up to it portion was awesome, and I think they also did what COD did. They let the campaign out, like, a week early or something, and the campaign's, like, pretty decent. I I didn't finish it. I got I started it, though, and I had fun playing it, but it, it was this open sandbox. You can kind of do whatever the hell you want, which oh, is nice. I, okay. And that's different for a Halo game. Like, they've never done that before, but... <sighs> Ugh... After uh. after the game came out, though, ooh, I'm like, hmm, where's the, like, at first it was like, all right, it's pretty fun, but, and then they didn't do anything, and they, they didn't do anything, and then, oh, look at that, they didn't do anything. <laughs> the next season came out. Yeah, they didn't add like, anything. They didn't it. do anything. <laughs> they added new skins, and that's it. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, that is something I get so fucking sick of, of games doing developers doing it is making a game and then they add skins to it or calling cards or shit that does not need in the game like i'm so sick of earning calling cards on call of duty i'm so sick of earning skins or anything like bro just stop bro, this is, this is kind of off topic but it's in re reference to call of duty i love it that there's like all these challenges you complete but they sure as hell make it hard to go find where you get those challenges unlocked yeah, like, the menu completely changed. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. 
it's like, oh, I have to go to my calling cards to see the challenges because you just want us to unlock calling cards. Like, what's the fun in that? I don't know how Halo. Hmm. Does Halo even have like challenges like that or no? They they have well, for one one problem they have another thing that they completely took a shit on was they had a uh, the way that you progress through the season. Obviously, you played the game, you get you get points, XP that leveled you up. But my God, it took like. 20 matches to get through one level. I'm like, Jesus Christ, how are we supposed to play this? I put you on full screen so you can see your cat. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Cause like, yeah, I'm on camera, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm crashing this show. Cleaning myself. I'm sorry, goddamn. <laughs> like, you can't look at me while I'm cleaning. It's looking at the camera like... But, oh my god. But but for sure, that game was definitely overhyped afterwards. But it, it, it was right where it needed to be leading up to it. it if they so. would if they would continuously add like maps and stuff. Yeah, yeah and that's maybe. the other thing. We God, when we, Dave and I played we played like the same like four maps. It's what Call of Duty did. They they put all like what, not even ten maps into the game and then like alright, yeah. go play go play all these maps. Actually, it I think they do have like ten or so maps in there. But the problem with Call of Duty doing it is they don't have every game mode for every map. So yeah, that's I the other personally yeah. like headquarters. Why did they take it out of Shoot House? I don't know. Yeah, it, I don't yeah, think it was, it was broken. I, I didn't even get to play headquarters on Shoot House. They are, they already took it off whenever I started playing Shoot House. Like that I shit don't mind Shoot House, me. but I don't know. I know you guys probably ain't gonna have a big uh, talk about this one, but the uh, Pokemon Aquari uh, Aquarius, I think it was called Ar Arceus. Yeah, something like that. Is that the um, one that just came out like yeah, September? It, yeah, it just came out like a couple months ago. I think the new one just came out was uh, Scarlet and Violet. Oh yeah, it's Violet. I'm thinking of. Look. I'm all about Pokemon. I'm all, obviously, actually, I don't know if you can kind of see my chat right now. I got Pokemon all in my chat right now. Um, that's what that is, if you did not know that. <laughs> um, but my the problem with this game is I wanted to buy it so bad, but the reviews were horrible. So I have yeah. no idea how good this game was. Yeah. Okay, I didn't play it. I didn't want to buy it. Because sixty dollars for a Pokemon game to me is a waste of fucking money. It's the yeah. same thing over and over. Yeah, and, and like that's the thing. I think, I think now like it's being not not from the fans, but from the company standpoint, they keep overhyping it now. It's like oh, another Pokemon like, game. Wow, we well, added a new Pokemon type. Okay, who cares? And I, I know. Well, they add a lot actually. They 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 add a lot of Pokemon. That's I I like the cards more than the video games. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. My my thing is, it's the same style of game. Now, granted, this one's a little more three D. There, it's a little more three D now. I will yeah, say yeah. that the last one that I bought was more. But like this one, they try to overdo it, and it broke the game. Like they couldn't, they couldn't render things. Oh, yeah. it would literally lag out Nintendo, and right. I just, I just can't, I can't see myself buying a, a sixty dollar game that is gonna remind me of a game that I bought twenty years like, ago. Yeah, I was like, like twenty <laughs> years ago, you know, on your little Game Boy Advance. It's like, ooh. Like it's awesome catching Pokemon. It's awesome battling Pokemon. It's awesome. Pokemon game is fucking legit. I love. Fucking, it, but I just you you shit yourself when lot. you find when you're walking through that forest looking for that shiny Pokemon and it just comes up. And you're like, oh my god! And then the, the game hours. breaks. And then the game yeah. breaks. And then yeah. But like, I I don't know, man. I just I can't get into sixty dollars for a, a game that I don't know. If, if they add different things, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think they just need to change the play style up a bit. Just a little bit. Um, I'm sure Violet and... What is it? Violet and Scarlet or whatever? Scarlet and Violet? I'm sure them 
them are amazing games. I just I heard I heard Violet sucked. I heard so many people say they bought the game and it was it was not what they thought it was going to be. But see, that's that's the thing though. Scarlet and Violet's the same game. It's just what happens when they do that is it's just separate Pokemon in each game. It's literally yeah. the same game, just different Pokemon. They, I know they do. They do that to probably just encourage like trading, like because you can trade yeah, these yeah. Pokemon to the other game. They're encouraging you to do that, which is yeah, kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Po but... Which Pokemon do you want to be able to 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 get all the time versus? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and your starter Pokemon is going to be different too. Yeah. Obviously, that's the whole point of Scarlet and Violet. But yeah, another broken game. Overwatch 2. Studio. <laughs> Overwatch 2. Alex, you didn't play this game, have you? No. I got I got pretty deep opinion on this one, but go ahead, Ethan. I love Overwatch to death. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I know, that's why I, that's why I want you I, to go first. And I love, I love the... I love the variety that they they put into the game and all that. And do I think it's overhyped? Pro probably a little bit. It's not it's not like crazy overhyped, but but I know a lot of people said it wasn't what they wanted or ex were expecting. But I mean, the nice part is it's free. It's free to play, so you can just download it and play it. I mean, but the issue with that is they took a lot of good stuff out, like. Like, I know a lot of people hated the loot boxes, but now everyone's complaining that they're not in the game, so... I don't know, this kind of took a lot of the fun out of it. Now, the only way to get skins is if you buy their credits. So, yeah, they definitely overhyped it a bit, but, I mean, uh, the cutscene for... The trailer for it... Oh my god, that was one of the... I got chills whenever I watched that trailer. Because, like, oh my god! Oh god, here these two go. So I don't I don't know the whole story behind the loot boxes. Yeah. Um but I do know I wanna say it was during Black Ops four that that year. Um states or companies were trying to say that that's illegal gambling. Yeah. yeah. And I think I think I mean, obviously, EA was another big portion of that too. But I also think Overwatch kind of got fired at for that as well. So. Yeah, with all of, so I, I can understand them kind of taking the loot boxes out. At the end of the day, though, I think that's fucking stupid. Because like, I mean, you could earn loot boxes without paying anything. It, I mean, it took a while, and they they did give you a lot of them. I don't know why they were making. Like to me, they were making kind of a too much of a big deal about it because. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Game. That's what I think is fucking stupid. Is the states or the companies making a big deal over gambling? Like, okay, yeah. so you're gonna wa let me walk into a casino with two hundred dollars and, and do blow the same goddamn thing? Like, yeah. fuck off! Like, well, yeah, because they're making money off of that. Yeah, <clears throat> but we have OnlyFans now. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. We're allowed you to know. have OnlyFans, but you can't have. You can't online, have that online uh, porn site I, that you pay for now instead of just going to porn up. <laughs> like, yeah. but we can't have loot boxes. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, it's. I don't know. That was. Such I'm a crazy sorry. That time. that's just. I don't. I don't like that. I I think that if I want to buy a goddamn supply box on fucking exactly. Black Ops like, Four, it should be up or, to the player. Or, yeah, it's my money. Let me use it the way I want to use I it. I can see where it can get out of hand. Like if you have a if gambling I want to go yeah. blow it on, you fucking... could do the same thing with the casino. You could walk into the casino, have a gambling problem. That's it's my like, point, oh, man. Like that's my point. If I if it's my money, if I want to go fucking blow it on blow it and hooker, let me fucking do it. All right, like goddamn, it's my and fucking was, money. And I was telling Megan about that too. I was like, you know, you know, it's uh, it's illegal for me to play game battles in Maryland for some reason. But I can go down to Rocky Gap Casino and gamble. I mean, uh, I, I don't think... know if it includes esports or not, but they did just pass a law that legalized online gambling. Cool. Yeah, awesome. DraftKings and means... stuff. DraftKings. Oh and yeah, stuff that's right. Handle. That's right. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure about that, but I, I, I guess would... that that is a good point. Like, oh, if I they... can get online and do that now, DraftKings, I should be I able to go and. I asked when he, when Hogan announced that. I did comment on his post and say does this include esports but of course nobody cares about that so yeah. 
Yeah, until you're making fucking two hundred. Yeah, think grand. about how much money you could make from that. Like, yeah, okay. I mean. You want you can state make a couple, income? You can there make you go. A, you can make a couple thousand a fucking a day. Mm-hmm. On, on, okay. Anyway, we're getting off track. Yeah, we're getting off track again. <laughs> I, I'm going to say... Um, now, Ethan, I don't want this to hurt your feelings, but I'm going to no, say you... it was overhyped. Because as a, as a non-Overwatch player who does play Overwatch and kind of goes off sometimes casual on it... Casual player. You're a casual it was just the same game to me. Like, I, f- I feel that. And I did, I did appreciate that they tried to change the gameplay up. I mean, yes. It is I, th- I mean, there the is, same. there is different things in there. Um, there was different characters, obviously they changed up the characters a little bit. So I did notice that as a yeah. player who doesn't, like Arissa, she doesn't shoot her shield anymore, but she has some badass moves now. Like she has a javelin. Like, come on, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I just feel like it was, Hmm, I do. Well, I yawning. I think it was just overhyped only because, again, when I got on there, it just felt like it was the same game as that. I just, you know. But worse. I do like that it's free. Yeah, actually, I did. Like, I like turning the loot boxes. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. But, yeah, you definitely got to change a lot more than what they did, which, I mean, it's cool what they did so far, but. Now, this is a game that hasn't been talked about a lot and i just happened to watch someone play it just recently and i am going to talk about it oh boy and i because i i want to talk about it because i feel like it is such an underrated game already and that is goat simulator 3 (laughs) (laughs) my god yes (laughs) look i didn't even know the game released okay i watched vanos play it the other day and dude yep some of the stuff that you can do in that game, I'm going to go buy it when I get paid. It is $22 right now on Epic. I am not sponsored. I, this is just, if you want to have a You're fun saying, game, it is right now on Epic Store. It is $22 fucking dollars. You want to talk about a dumb, fun game. That That's it like, right there. And the, the first one, oh my god, that one was so good. The third one, I mean, they were just like, yeah, let's take it to the next level. <laughs> and they did. But I want to say that game is so underrated. Cause I didn't even know it released. Okay. Yeah, so, I didn't know about until like a week after. I'm like, oh, Goat, Goat Simulator 3? I didn't know that was even a thing. I haven't even played it yet, but I watched it, and it made me oh, laugh. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. made me I laugh. Watched, I wa- And the amount of detail they put into the first one, they just carried it over to the third one, so... They actually have a second one. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, everyone was like, there's a second one? <laughs> yeah. I think the whole franchise might be... Don't tell me my gold motherfucking pen is not worth it. I think the yeah, whole that... franchise is almost underrated. Oh yeah, for sure. Like pe- people don't know how much fun you can actually have with those games. Well, yeah, and that's that's so funny because I just told Alex about this. Um, Jack motherfucking Crockett. Okay, he came over to my house, and uh, he's like, "What's this game?" I said, "Oh, that's Goat. That's Goat Simulator." I said, "This is a fun fucking game, dude. Play it." Kind of made fun of it at first. He was like, "Nah, that oh, game." Yeah, he was shit, like, yeah. "Yeah, he was like, this is fucking dumb." And then, and then, and then when you it. guys were gone and I came over and he was he there, was still guess playing what the fuck it. He was playing. <laughs> he was still playing it. He was on that motherfucking game for about four yeah. hours, dude. <laughs> there is so much shit you can do in Ghost Simulator. It's just to me, it is an underrated title. It's an underrated game. Go fucking play it, yeah. for the love of God. And if you are a stoner. If you like smoking <laughs> weed, smoke, play it when you're high. <laughs> smoke some and go play that fucking game. I'm not saying I did it. I'm never going to say that I did it, but I'm just going to let you know you can sit on that fucking game for hours and have an absolute blast, okay? Just try it. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. I had to bring it up because it is it's underrated. Definitely, it definitely That's, is an underrated game. Fair. And... It definitely deserves to be played by a lot more people than who play it now, but regardless. And Ethan says something about Saints Row. Was it four that just came out? Five, seven, eight, uh, nine? It's definitely five, Row. but it's a reboot. It's a reboot of the franchise, so. I have and, a whole lot of opinions about that game. I I mean, I haven't played it, so I don't have an honest opinion on it. Yeah. But, 
but I, I know a lot of people were saying, oh, it's a woke game, it's so woke, and I'm like, uh, yeah. okay, what, what, how's the gameplay, How, what's the story like? Uh, yeah, I don't like... care if it's woke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm, it, I don't know. What, do, what do they mean, like, well, there's I thought the thing. it was just I don't, like a parody I don't it... about GTA all the time. Oh, it, well, is. Thought, it, it is. It is. Well, of course, the issue there is there's haven't there hasn't been a new GTA in how long? So how are they supposed to parry to <laughs> the game if that. they don't release the next one? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, I like that whoever leaked it leaked it. Thank you, whoever leaked it. Yeah, thank that. you. We know it's coming. We just don't know when. It might be when I'm old and gray and sixty and yeah, probably yeah. in my casket. But I, hey, I saw, thank I saw you. a meme the other day. It said. Uh, me the second after I die, and it's it's the GTA uh, announcement trick. Look, I don't want I don't want to like get completely off topic here, but I kept saying I think it would be okay to make it a GTA Five. Okay, you have GTA Five. Instead of making GTA Six, just make make a different world where you go to the airport on GTA Five and you load up. Oh, that would world. be cool. Another, that it's like going cool. into another game, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. I like because that. I think I think one of the biggest issue that they're having is people was complaining about how much money they spent on yeah. GTA Five. Which, I mean, I'm not. If I was a diehard fan, like some of these other guys that spend thousands of dollars on my motherfucking game, and then they shut the servers down, yeah, I might be a little tight, bro. I might be a little tight. Yeah, cause, yeah, cause I can see the like you're going to a different world in this new one, so it's kind of yeah, you just lost all that shit you put in. So, and like, I, well, like I said, I mean, when GTA makes GTA six, you know what's gonna happen to GTA five. They're gonna shut the servers down. Yeah, because yeah, why, why would they? They don't want to upkeep that. Yeah. So I don't I'm know. In- I just I hope I hope. I don't know. I'm impressed. COD servers are still up, like for older COD games. I I can't even, I can never believe that when I go to play it, like some of the old ones. I'm like, wow, I can't believe the servers. Yeah, are see, still they alive don't they don't you. care about the hackers though. That's the thing. yeah, that's it. I mean, GTA Five. You almost you almost need to worry about the hackers on GTA Five. Yeah, because like, uh, it's yes, Call of Duty can become unplayable with a hacker. Don't get me wrong, but. You had the ability to leave, rejoin a different lobby. With GTA Five, I mean, you can you can leave. You can leave. Don't get me wrong, but like, the lobby list is huge, bro. Yeah, it could throw you into another lobby. That's guess what? It has a lot of hackers in it. So I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I feel like that's the argument there. Is people's like, oh yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to leave. Like, why are you going to shut down the server? Yeah. What are you sending me that for? I uh, just, just show you it was on sale. Saints Row is on sale, everybody. Alex wanted me to tell How you How much that. is it? $32. Ew, till till one-fifth. No, one-fifth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Look, I got a toothache. You guys remember, I got two things on my oh, mind. Oh, yeah, sure. Blame it on the toothache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the I, am. I am, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, it's on sale till 1 5 23. Fuckers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I won't be buying well, I know, it. I, know, that, I wonder if that Steam sale started, but I'm, I'm just waiting for them to add it. On, I know they probably won't, but I'm just waiting for Game Pass to be like, yeah, we'll put it on there. I know. That's probably. That's why I'm playing Disney Dreamlight now. <laughs> Have you been playing it? <laughs> I, play, I haven't played it in a few days, but I I played it for like the first two. I was like, oh this is a God. fun game. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> I might have to just go get fucking Xbox Game Pass. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I would just get it at this point. There's so much fun fun games you can get on there. There's a lot of single player games. I guess what? They have like over 50 hours of play time. Uh-oh. And it tells you like, like when you get on there and you scroll down, it actually tells you how long the story takes to beat. So... You can't um, even dude. see. No, no, no. Get down. Uh, dude. Uh, speaking down. of Game Pass, um, down. you have Grounded downloaded. Uh, nope. 
Okay, because I have it downloaded and I have I haven't played it yet. I haven't even opened it yet, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to play it by myself or. I play with friends. It'd be more fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll download it. I don't care. It's on Game what Pass. Is so. It's like it's like a survival craft it's, game. It's kind of no. like Minecraft. You're, you're uh, you turn into like these really. Sp you turn like a mini person pretty much, and uh, like all, bugs, like, your bugs come after you. Yeah. You, can, you can befriend them too, but like spiders come after you. It turns into a horror game if you go into like a spider's den. So yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, Maxie wanted to be oh on TV. Lord. Okay. Wanted to be TV, TV star. I should make Max a fucking Twitch channel. Maxi TTV. <laughs> oh my god. TTV Maxi. TV Maxi. Little Caesars. Get down. Yeah, that's what you should call it. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. <laughs> hey, little emotes. He can get those, uh, the. Okay, bro. Chill, group. Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa, god whoa, god damn, bro. <laughs> Y'all need to relax now. I don't, I got him hyped up. Hey, no, I should, I should though. A little seizure. His, I got his emote already. We can make it maxi, but he's shaking. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, because you can make those GIF ones now. Those yeah. GIF. <laughs> Guys, those animated ones. Get down. Okay, that's gonna end this fucking podcast. These guys are fucking wild right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Maybe he's ready for his Oreo. Go away. Oh, he is. It is time for his medicine. Medication. Oh, man. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that podcast, though. Twitch and YouTube. I am going to be ending this. Um, there's Ethan's pretty face. We didn't get to talk about that in the, in the beginning of the video. But oh, there's the pretty face. So now you get more entertainment with us. Now, um, I'm thinking about putting this on spotify so if you guys happen to run across my youtube that's been dead now for like four years <laughs> go ahead and just you know <laughs> how do we say that? smash that like button no smash really that. just, just that comment <laughs> and let me know yeah just comment and let me know if you actually would listen to this shit on spotify i know uh i had suggestions before of doing spotify i think it would be better because then you don't have to you don't have to get on twitch you can just get on spotify listen to it and be on there for however long whenever you want yeah hey yeah, yeah whenever you want um i rather listen to it on spotify i don't want to see my fucking ugly ass face i'm gonna be honest with you um <laughs> but no hope you guys enjoyed um and we're gonna sign off so peace out take care love you guys